You are on a journey to find your first job as a programmer. You probably didn't get a degree at a top university in computer science. Neither did I, by the way. You loved a program, but you're frustrated because how do you show someone that you're good enough for them to hire you? And all the job postings have ridiculous experience requirements, and it's hard to even get anyone to return your email or acknowledge that you even put in an application. Now, this was me in 1994. I had a degree, had nothing to do with computer programming. But up to that point, every job I'd had really wasn't a good fit. And I found myself down in Nicaragua, working for a gold mine, sleeping with a quarter of a million dollars underneath my bed, having panic attacks on a regular basis and going, I've got to get out of here. I need to find something I actually like doing. And as a child, I had programmed some, I had loved it, but then dropped it and never really realized that that could be a career for people. So now what worked for me in 1995 is not going to work for you today, but the same principles apply. There are three things that you need to get that first job. You have to increase your skills so that you deserve the job and you can keep the job and do well in the job. Second, You've got to create the social proof that you have those skills so that someone will give you a chance, invite you in for an interview, invite you back for that second interview. And then you've got to stay motivated long enough to accomplish the first two. And that sometimes can be the toughest task of all because it gets discouraging when you're not getting any feedback. So I'm going to go through every possible way for you to increase your skills and demonstrate to the world that you are good enough for them to give you that chance. So we're going to explore things like coding sites, hacker rank, leak code, and others. I've already went to the number one ranking on hacker rank in Python, and I'm going to cover that in another video. How much effort did that take? How can you use that to show someone that they should give you a chance? Books, websites, certifications. I got my first certification in Novell Networking, and that was one of the things that led to me getting that job offer. Now. Today, I still maintain some certifications. I'm certified in AWS in every cert that they have. And that's so that I can show a potential contracting gigs that I have got the experience in the new technologies, not just the stuff that I used 10 years ago. Now, we're also going to cover online courses, things like Udemy, Coursera, flashcards. Oh my God, lots and lots of flashcards. This is one of my favorite hacks for getting up to speed quickly in technologies. I'm going to show you how much effort is involved in each path and how to leverage those paths to get noticed. Let me join you on your heroic journey and be that mentor that helps you cross over into the ranks of professional programmers. Now, why should you pick me as a mentor? Well, for starters, I programmed what became Match.com. That was my third tech job was I started my own company with a good friend of mine, Dave Kennedy, and we built the largest dating site of the 90s. But since then, I've helped my brother and sister who built Match with me launch a uh, enterprise security scanning company. I've invested in probably over 150 startups, and I've been in probably 10 to 15 startups. I have mentored hundreds of programmers and founders over the year and want to help you as well. So join me in this journey, smash that like button, and I'll see you in the next video.